Today we're going to be installing a high performance 4 inch intake kit on uh, this Mercruiser 7.4 MPI engine. Uh, the factory intake is right here on this particular motor. Uh, it's a 3.75 inch inlet into the throttle body and we're going to use um, uh, a reducer to go from 3.75 inch to 4 inch and then attach our 4 inch intake with the mandrel bent aluminum uh, piping for smooth flow and also a K&N uh, flame arrester air filter. Alright first thing we've got to do is take this plastic cover off it comes off uh, it's got some star bolts here uh, this one and this one you unscrew them and this cover comes right off. Alright, we've got the screws undone, the bolts. So we pull these two out, and the cover comes right off. And if you notice underneath here, this guy is your factory flame arrester slash air filter held on by a single clamp. So we're going to remove that, and then we're going to piece by piece put our new intake system on. Alright, we've got the clamp undone. We're going to pull this guy off. So that's what the inside looks like. It's just a metal mesh flame arrester. This one cleaned, uh, cleaned up a few weeks ago, but it's dirty again, so we got to get that one cleaned up. That's your factory throttle body, and the new intake system is going to require a reducer to go from uh, this size here, which is 3.625 inch, I think, if I remember correctly, to a 4 inch uh, aluminum mandrel bent pipe. So we're going to put this here on the throttle body uh, with one clamp here, another clamp here for the aluminum pipe, and then it's going to come out and go to the Canon uh, flame arrester air filter. All right, so here's the factory flame arrester. You can see there uh, for size comparison. So if you take a look at the Canon, uh, it's a little bit bigger as far as dimensions go. But the important part is we've got a lot more filter media here, a lot more surface area. So you're going to get much less restriction. Um, lower uh, pressures in the intake, lower vacuum in the intake, and you're going to be able to ingest much more air more easily without, uh, uh, without as much vacuum. So you should pick up a little bit of power. It's not going to make a huge difference on the uh, power that you make out of your motor because at the end of the day, you're still injecting the same amount of fuel and everything, but you should see a little bit better throttle response and uh, slightly more power. All right, we've got our intake pipe on here. Uh, we've got our nice stainless cl steel clamps on. Uh, the process I use is to put the silicone coupler onto the throttle body first, position it, and put a clamp on without the pipe or anything else on there. That way there's not any weight on there and you can line it up perfectly. Then uh, get your pipe on there and position it correctly and get the T-bolt clamp here tightened down and make sure you don't over tighten it because the pipe is aluminum. And if you over tighten it, it will bend. And you can see here it's nice and tight, doesn't move much, very little play because these silicone couplers are layered with fabric and once tightened down they're very firm, they don't move much. And uh, these pipes have the bead rolled on the end so the couplers and also the filter aren't going to go anywhere. The one thing on this particular motor I did have to adjust a little bit, the um, oil dipstick was lining up right about here, almost in the center of the mandrel bend right here and all I did was push it, grab it uh, a little bit below the neck uh, of the filler tube and I pulled it this way and then out towards the motor a little bit so that it ends up right in the middle of the bend. As you can see, now there's uh, lots of clearance around it. It's not gonna hit the pipe or anything else when you're pulling it out to uh, check your oil levels. So depending on your motor, where your dipstick ends up, you might end up running into that and might have to adjust it a little bit by putting a little bit of a, a bend or a curve into the dipstick tube. Next thing we're going to do is put the Canon uh, flame arrester filter on the end of this and we should be all finished. All right, there is our four inch mandrel bent intake. So this is going to do a couple things for us. It's going to get us better throttle response, slightly more power, whether it's noticeable or not. It depends on the boat, your engine and how it's tuned. Uh, more surface area on the filter, on, uh, on the Canon flame arrester. And you've got a nice smooth mandrel bend here that is 4 inch diameter on the inside and that's much larger than the 3.65 diameter inlet of the throttle body. So the, the effect here is more surface area. You've got the inside funnel on the lip of the uh, Canon Flame Arrester. 4 inch down to 3.65. It's going to increase air velocity as you're going from larger to smaller. 
and it should quiet things down a little bit too because it's taking the flame arrester further away from the throttle body so you won't get as much as that air rushing sound that you do on some of these uh, boat motors with uh, the, the filter being stuck right on the throttle body. So we'll test it out, see how it does, and report back. All right, now we've got the engine cover back on too, and it uh, fits perfectly right underneath the engine cover, as you can see. Uh, plenty of clearance there, nothing touching. So no vibrating, no rattling, anything like that. I think this has been a success. It looks great, and uh, we'll see if it performs as well when we get it on the water.